Hello, so I decided I'm going to do a recorded video for this morning. I actually have to go and do hair, so I wanted to record a video for you today. So, as always, take what resonates, leave what does not. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. Also, I have my beautiful Rose Forever Roses that I absolutely love, so I'm always trying to tell you you know, what are those things that can help you? And definitely these roses from Rose Forever help me because the bouquets last for a long time. There is a link down below to my unboxing video and also for a $25 off coupon that is good until October 29th if you wanna check that out. Okay, so let's get an empowering question. Wow, okay. <laughs> Okay, everything's kind of all over the place, but that that's okay. Let's see, we have this one that turned over too. So I don't think there's any others. So you never know what can happen, right? Unexpected. Okay, so we have, what is the worst that could happen if I let go of things that no longer serve me? Definitely a very good question. If this was my last day, would, it, would I be satisfied with my life? What would I have done differently? Those are really good questions. Definitely, those are really good questions. Lots to think about. That's kind of why I like those cards. It's kind of, you know, as I'm always saying, ask yourself those questions. If you're feeling a certain way or you, you know, you're, you're struggling with something, as ask yourself those questions. And that's why I like these cards because they kind of ask the questions for you, All right? And it, and I love, I love you know having. I love when it, there's that challenge of asking questions. You're like, oh, that's a really good question. Let me think about that, right? And that gets your mind going, and that gets you being creative, and it gets you thinking, and you know, kind of getting out of that rut, you know, really gets your mind moving and that can lead to other things, right? And it can lead to other directions. So we have the Four of Wands, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Four of Cups, so what you may possibly be struggling with. We have what do you need to focus on? We have the Star, we have the Page of Wands, and we have the Four of Pentacles. And then we have the Page of Cups, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the Devil card. And bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. All right, so we have lots of pages here, right? We have all four pages. We do. Look at that. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, we have the Page of Cups, and we have the Page of Swords. I don't think that's ever happened before. Pages. Pages is young, new energy, right? It's new ways of looking at things, new ways of doing things. Um... I almost feel like it's it's a reset button, a re restart, reset. Um, I kind of feel like that's what's going with all of this this page energy here, especially with this future energy here. And what do you need to focus on right here? The page of wands, which is that that communicate like the page of wands is looking right at this here. I kind of feel like there is a partnership. It could have to do with something with work that you've kind of lost that interest. I feel like you've you've kind of um, lost interest in that. Let's see. Let's grab some other cards here and delve a little deeper in this. The moon, yeah, I'm clear. A deception, um, not listening to your intuition, having this feeling of change. Page of Pentacles. Look, another page. I feel like there's. A, for some reason, I'm kind of getting a strong feeling that there's a new opportunity having to do with work that you want to pursue. And I feel like this is something totally different and it's a complete different direction than what, what you're used to going. And I feel like you may be struggling with that. Um, I almost feel like it's something that you want to do, but... And you kind of have it mapped out in your mind, but you're like, I don't know if I want to take that initial first step, right? <laughs> so that initial that initial first step can be the hardest thing. <laughs> um, 
not letting what other people have to say hold you back or affect you. I kind of feel like there is someone that is around you that is kind of maybe questioning it or making you feel guilty or maybe kind of holding you back from going after things that you want to um, achieve. I feel that it's kind of like with this King of Wands here, it's it's kind of looking back and over and saying every time and realizing every time that I've listened to somebody else, every time that I followed what they've wanted me to do, that it didn't really turn out the way that I wanted it to turn out. And that you felt that there was a loss, that you felt that um, maybe you're, you weren't as satisfied, right? What is the worst that could happen if I let go of things that no longer serve me? What is the worst that could happen? I feel that there's something that you want to do that you want to go after, but there's someone or something or there's past energy that's holding you back from reaching your goals, that you're having that self-doubt that you're having that lack of confidence, that you're worried about what other people are going to say or how they're going to react or what how they're going to feel. And I feel like it's affecting your happiness. I feel like this may be something big that you want to try or you want to move, move towards, right? But I feel that this is something inside of you that is going to make you very happy that you've been thinking about for a long time. I feel that you've always felt guided or you felt like this is a direction that you've been wanting to go in. And it's having that faith and belief in yourself that you can bring that stability to your, your life. And I feel like you haven't given yourself a chance. You haven't given yourself a chance to pursue those things or go after those things. I feel like you haven't given yourself that chance or that freedom to do it. That's the energy that I'm feeling from that, from that, especially with those two cards that have come out, right? That it's like, if you let go of what's not serving you, and if you're looking back on your life, like that King of Wands, and saying, you know, did I go, did I take all of those, those challenges? Did I take all of those opportunities? Did I, you know, really push myself and do those things that I believed, right, that were, that were important to me? And like I said, sometimes it's really hard to take that first step. That first step is, you know, you can think about it all that, that you want, but it's like taking that actual first step and making things happen. That can be the hardest thing to do because you're like, okay, I'm on that path, right? <laughs> I'm making those changes. I'm doing it. But that's exciting. You know what I mean? It's that thrill of excitement and saying, okay, I'm doing it, right? Taking control of the situation and being in your own power and don't deny yourself your own power for things that you want to go after or things that you want to do or things that you want to achieve, right? Put to rest those things that hold you back and go through that transformation, right? Put, putting those things to an end. The death card represents the end of something that is holding you back, but it also represents transformation because it's starting new and it's starting fresh, right? It's a new way of thinking. It's a new way of, I feel that there's a big transformation here. For, I feel like it's go for it. Again, my mind is going quicker than my mouth, but I get so excited with these readings and it's like, go for it, try it, see what happens. I'd rather try something and fail and be proud of myself for having tried something rather than, you know, be frustrated with myself. Well, I never took that chance or I never took that opportunity or I never did anything. I just kind of sat there and just let everybody else or just, just let things be, right? I'm not, make things happen for yourself. Create your own justice. Make things happen for yourself. That's why I get, like I've said it before, is is when I was working at the grocery store and I would tell people that, you know, I started a YouTube channel. And they're like, oh, I always wanted to do that. I always wanted to try that, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, do it, do it, go for it, try it. No, I could never do that. I'll never succeed at that. I'll, that'll never work. 
I'm like, oh my gosh, like it was so frustrating. It's like you're already setting yourself up for failure because look at your your attitude towards it. So yeah, it's not going to work and you don't even want to try it. And I, I get to the point where I just would walk away because it would be so frustrating because I'm that type of person like try it, you know, go for it, make it happen. Change your, change your attitude, change your attitude, change your attitude about the situation, about what you believe in, right? Don't let all of those doubts get in there. And I feel like with Capricorn having the devil card, I feel like there's always that devil that's sitting on your shoulder. That's always trying to tell you that you're going to fail or you're going to, you know, that you're, you're going to not succeed or things are going to happen or, you know, I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising. So I have that twice <laughs> strong Capricorn. <laughs> And, you know, there are definitely times that there's been many times in my life where it's that self-doubt, but I'm like, no, I'm going to turn that energy of that self-doubt and that, that devil energy of that negativity. And I'm going to harness that fire. I'm going to f harness that passion. I'm going to harness that energy. And I'm going to use that to push me and propel me forward and to make those choices and do those things that I want to do that I'm not going to have this energy work against me in the negative way that I'm going to take that and I'm going to use that negative energy and I'm going to say you know what I'm not going to fail I'm not going to prove you right devil card I'm not going to prove you right I'm going to prove you wrong and I'm going to try it and I'm going to do it and I'm going to go against what everybody else is you know, they're, they're saying or they're thinking and I'm going to show them, right? Um, and whether I succeed or fail, I've already won. I've already succeeded because I didn't fall victim to that devil energy or that I can't energy because I've already won because I am choosing that I can and I will. And so I've already chosen not to fall into that. So I've already succeeded. Before any th results have even happened, I've already succeeded. And that's the energy that you have to embrace here. Don't deny yourself of those things that you love and that you enjoy and that you feel guided towards doing. And when you start to make those choices, which I've said before, and you start to do those things that you enjoy, then you kind of, the, the people that were associated with your old ways where that you had the I can't, those start to fall away. And then you start associating yourself with that new community, with the I can community, and you surround yourself with those people that are supportive of you and that help to fuel you, to push you forward. <laughs> That, that's what, take control, take your own power, right? Take control of the, change that thinking process, make things happen for yourself. If you want things to happen, you have to take the steps to make them happen. Don't put that power in anybody else's hands except for yours. You take control, you take power, right? The devil card is a powerful energy, but use that power in a positive way, right? Flip the script, turn it around. Use that power as a, as a positive energy for yourself to achieve your goals. Don't see it as, as a negative, right? Because then you're already setting yourself up for failure, right? Just like those people that I was saying, go after it and do a YouTube channel. But they're like, no, I can't do that. Okay, well, that's you. We have independence, carving your own path. I love it. Love it. That's a perfect card for this reading is carve your own path. Your independence, right? That you can rely on yourself, that you can make your dreams come true. Let go of things that no longer serve you. Make your life the most exciting ever so that if you, you're, you're in this king of wands and you're looking back on your life and you say, yep, I'm so proud of myself is I took chances and I made things happen and, right, I surrounded myself with that community that supported me. But most important, I made ha things happen for me. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive. I hope you have an amazing weekend. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.